Hi everyone, this is Saeed. Today I'm going to show you how to make a wine bottle and cutting device. Uh, the parts you need are two pieces of board. You don't need to plane or clean them as you need the friction between them. And uh, you also need four L brackets. They're five centimeters on each side. And uh, you need uh, three bowls, uh, about three centimeters long, eight millimeter in diameter, three washers, three nuts, and three uh, uh, ball bearings. Uh, could be from skateboards and uh, eight drywall screws, small ones, a glass cutting diamond, a Phillips screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver, an electric drill with an 8mm drill bit and uh, a grinder or something to file the metal with. So the first thing you gotta do is enlarge one of the holes in the L bracket to, so we can fit the 8mm bolt through there. And as you see, using the grind there, I've ground out the heads of the, each bracket to make them round. And this is how you assemble one. You put a bolt through, a washer, a bearing, and a nut. And uh, you just hand tighten that. And that's what that's going to look like. And in the same way, we'll assemble two more of those. I'm gonna uh, mount those on the board. The distance between the two adjacent ones is three inches and the ones going down the board is uh, five, five and a half inches. You wanna use a board of good quality so the screws don't pull out. There's gonna be a fair bit of pressure on them when you, uh, when you put the wine bottle in there and try to score it. So the glass cutting diamond goes on the last uh, bracket and as you see I've ground the head quite a bit. I will show you a picture comparing it to the other three brackets later on. So this, this part is very easy also. You just take the, uh, use the flat plate screwdriver, take the diamonds off and put it on the bracket that you've ground out. You just need to make sure you grind, the, grind out enough uh, so the blades get exposed. And that's what that's going to look like. As you see, all the diamonds all around are exposed. Uh, you'll be using one at a time. And this is a comparison between the two brackets. The, the ones that take the bearings on the left and the one that takes the diamond on the right. And uh, you put that in the same uh, parallel to the one next to it. Make sure all the screws are nice and tight and you're good to go. You're ready to cut some bottles now. The nice thing about this design is uh, the second piece of board, you use that to hold the bottle in one place. And with that, you can uh, just put it anywhere you want and score the bottle anywhere you want, all the way from the bottom to the top. So uh, very easy to adjust and very easy to do. As you see here, this is our first bottle being scored and uh, I go around at least twice or as many times as I need to to make sure I get a nice a deep and even score all around the bottle and this is what you get a nice even score show you how to split the bottles. So you need to use really hot boiling water and uh, fairly cool water uh, in the t on the tap and uh, you spin the bottle as fast as you can because you want to heat it up evenly and cool it off evenly otherwise you get a crack going up and down the bottle and you ruin it. The trick is you put it under boiling water for five seconds and cold water five seconds and you go back and forth until it splits. If you mess up don't worry uh, it happens just uh, have extra bottles on hand. I'm going to put a link for you guys um, to the first project I did with these bottles. It's a candle holder and I uh, hope you like it and please write and comment and subscribe. Thank you. This is Saeed. Bye.